Good morning. Don't mind me and my Christmas <laughs> PJs from last year and my Christmas bed. Okay. All right. Um, so I saw this like red talk table thing about narcissism and they were talking about selfies and I was, and I didn't listen to the whole thing. So I don't know what it was all about, but when they were talking about that, I was like, Oh my goodness. Like narcissism is so much more than that. And so I want to get on here to explain exactly like the way it helps me to see exactly what's going on with a narcissist and the difference between a healthy, normal person and a toxic, unhealthy narcissist. Okay, so have you guys heard? I don't know, I think I've said before, feelings are facts with them. Okay, so here is a healthy, normal person. And I've been doing a lot of work within myself the past few weeks, and so I've really seen this, and I really like understand it even more now. So, okay, so outside circumstances, we all have different triggers. Like things just trigger us, right? And they create negative emotions with us. And some are valid and some are not valid, but either way, stuff creates emotions within ourselves. And, um, and feelings are not good or bad. They're just indicators. They're just indicators of our needs. You know, happy feelings are indicators that our needs are being met. Negative feelings are indicators that we have unmet needs, you know, that we have maybe boundaries that are being crossed or that we have hurt or pain or wounds that need to be addressed, right? And so, um, so someone does something to you, right? And the past few weeks, I have felt like I have, I've had such negative feelings from not feeling good enough to feeling unloved, to feeling worthless, to feeling so many negative emotions, right? But I own them. The second that I feel unloved, the second that I feel worthless, the second that I feel powerless, whether or not there are outside situations that have created those feelings within me, the second I have a feeling, I now own it, which is good. There's this so good that I own those feelings because then that means I'm not a victim, right? I can do something about it so that way I don't feel powerless. I don't feel worthless, right? And depending on the feeling, there's gonna be different solutions to it. Like let's say the worthless. The worthless is I should not give anyone in this world that much power over me. I should not get my worth from a man. I should not get my worth from anyone. My worth comes from God. Like, and so boom, there, like that, that's speaking life over me. That's like speaking truth over something that I was holding onto that's not true. Um, the next one though, let's see, oh, powerless. Let's say the powerless was something was done to me that made me feel powerless. And that was screaming because my boundaries were being violated. And so therefore I instilled my boundaries to make me feel more in control of my life of where I needed to healthy, not like not controlling another person, just controlling what I have every right to control. Okay. So, um, so that's like a healthy person and that's a, the way a healthy person will react to feelings is you own them and then you do something about it to create, you know, that you validate yourself, you know, you say, yes, like, um, I am worthy of having my needs met. You try to find, you know, that unmet need that you're screaming for. And then you also accept that some people are not going to, some people aren't going to respect your boundaries and that's okay. You have to let them go. Some people aren't going to want to meet your needs, you know, and that's okay. Don't surround yourself by them people. Oh, and that's the third thing. And then also with, okay, a healthy person, when you have a feeling, right. And you tell them, like, if you tell a, in a healthy relationship, if you tell someone, I feel unloved right now, like the way you're treating me, I don't feel loved. A, a healthy person, if you're in a good relationship, that other person's going to be like, oh my goodness, like I would never want you to not feel loved by me. I'm so sorry. Like, no, like don't, like I'm not, what I'm doing right now is not to make you feel unloved, right? Now what's scary is that with a narcissist, they might be, they like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how I want you to feel. I want you to feel worthless. I want you to feel unloved. I want you to feel powerless. I want you to feel all these negative things. Okay, now this is like a perfect segue into the way a narcissist thinks. The reason they want you to have all of those negative emotions and negative feelings 
is because that's how they feel about themselves in that moment. And they don't know what to do with it. They don't know how to handle those negative feelings and emotions. And so it's your fault because you are their trigger. You trigger those emotions. And now you need to feel the way they feel. They feel powerless. They feel out of control. And so guess what? They are going to want the other person who they think created those feelings in them to pay for it, to pay for them, to make them have those negative emotions. Do you guys see that? Like that, you guys, that is what a narcissist is. It's not about selfies and who takes a selfie and who doesn't take a selfie. This, like, this is the true meaning of a narcissist. Okay, so a narcissist, same thing, right? Something happens in the world, it triggers them, pushes their buttons, whatever. They get negative emotions. They 